Hello students! Ang mga susunod na slides na makikita ninyo ay yung tinatawag natin na enhancing characteristics of accounting information. Bakit siya enhancing? Okay? Well, alam naman ninyo ano, na meron tayo nitong fundamental qualities. Okay? And the fundamental qualities are etong dalawa na ito. However, there are additional qualities. Okay? that makes the information or accounting information or financial information more useful. Okay? Mas kapaki-pakinabang para sa mga users na gagamit because it enhances the quality of information. As you can see here, okay, we have the verifiability, we have the comparability, we have the understandability, and then we have the timeliness. Okay? So, pag-uusapan natin ito in a short discussion, okay, umpisahan natin dito sa verifiability. Okay? Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng verifiability? When we talk about verifiability, ito yung phrase na kinakailangan ninyong tandaan. Okay? The information can be validated independently. Marami tayong iba't ibang klase ng mga users of financial information. Pag-uusapan natin ito on a separate video lecture. Pero, pag sinabi natin na verifiability, verifiable ang isang information kung mapatotohanan or mapagsisi, uh, tawag nito, mapasisinungalingan ng isang user, ang isang accounting information. Either he or she can validate or can invalidate the information. Kung ganito yung pagkakaintindi ko, pwede niyang sabihin, ano, kasi yung ibang users gagamit din, Babasahin din yung financial statements or yung mga financial information. Okay, pwedeng mag-second the motion. I agree that the information is like this. O kaya naman, ano, pwede niyang sabihin na sandali, mukhang medyo hindi mo ito na intindihan ng mabuti. So, pwede niyang pasinungalingan or i-correct. Okay, that is the quality of an information, ano, verifiability. Nabe-verify ka. Okay? And of course, when you can validate it independently, Okay, mas naiintindihan. Okay, mas nagiging kapaki-pakinabang ang isang information. Kasi we try to, ano no, simplify everything. Gusto natin na naiintindihan ng mga users ang, ang accounting information para makapag-decide ta talaga sila, ano, ng tama. To make this informed decision, no? Okay, o, i-relate natin ito dito, ano, sa susunod, sa mga susunod na characteristics. Second, we have the comparability. Okay, ano ba ang konsepto ng comparability? Pwede niyang makompare yung similarities or differences. Di ba sa verifiability, ang sabi dito, we can validate independently. And when you are validating, you can compare the similarities or you can compare the differences. O kaya naman, kung ikaw yung user, okay, either you can compare similarities or differences between financial information of different periods. Okay? Okay, ngayong taon, ito yung financial statement natin. Last year, ganito yung financial statements. No? We can compare, o ano ba ang similar sa nangyari before? Ano ba ang nabago sa ngayon? Okay? So, there are similarities or differences that can be cited. That makes that information useful kasi nagiging comparable siya. Either nako-compare ito ng different users o kaya naman, nako-compare ito ng isang user using different periods. Okay? That is the concept of comparability. Okay, the third enhancing characteristic is understandability. Ang ating phrase na kailangan ninyong ano no, tandaan, easy to understand. Understandable ba yung financial information? Kasi, hindi mo namang kailangan mag-aral ng apat or limang taon para lang maintindihan mo yung financial statements. Hindi tayo nagiging technical masyado ano, when we are talking of the financial statements. Kasi yung mga gagamit nito, hindi naman mga accountants, hindi naman mga CPA. It can be the general public. It can be the, um, tawag nito, potential, use, ano, no, potential investors. Yung mga existing creditors. Okay? o yung mga ahensya ng gobyerno. So, marami po ano, yung pwedeng gagamit ng financial information. So, kinakailangan, meron tayong common template, meron tayong common format ano, na madaling intindihin. Okay? Para naman, 
mas madali silang makapag-decide. Okay, mas magiging useful ito ano, para sa kanilang decision making. Imagine na hindi ganoon ka user friendly yung ating financial information. Di ba nga sa mga cellphone, kapag yung cellphone ay masyadong ang hirap intindihin, ano, ang hirap malaman kung paano gamitin, di ba minsan either tatama rin tayo gamitin yon or gusto natin yung ibang mga ano no, ibang mga devices na madaling gamitin. Kaya nga yung mga user friendly na ngayon yung mga cellphones, di ba? Yung mga mobile devices. Kasi hindi mo kailangan na maging IT ano no, professional para intindihin pa paano ito gagamitin. Para yung mga bata at maging yung mga matatanda maintindihan nila yon. So same concept applies sa financial information. For it to be useful, kinakailangan na intindihan. Otherwise, nawawala ng sense para saan pa yung financial reports mo, financial information mo kung hindi naman pala naiintindihan. Okay? So, I hope understood. Okay? Next and the last but not the least, we have the timeliness. When we talk about timeliness, no, we want to make sure that the financial information is available when needed. Hindi yung magiging available siya kung kailan mo lang gusto. Kung ikaw yung nagpe-prepare, you are the preparer of the financial information. Nawawala ng silbi yung isang ano no, financial information kung it loses its no timeliness. What I try to say no is kunwari, you are the accountant of the company and the manager or the owner of the business asks you to prepare a financial statement by the end of the week. Eh, hindi mo nabigay ito. Naibigay mo to by Monday or Tuesday pa, the following week. Eh, baka kasi, by the end of the week, kailangan niya yung financial statement na yon kasi meron siyang potential na client, no? Or meron siyang pag-uutangan at hindi siya makakautang kung walang financial statement. Eh, kung binigay mo yan, the following days, no? Lap, ano na, lagpas na doon sa kanyang deadline. So, hindi natin masasabi kung para saan at kailan niya ito gagamitin. Ang alam lang natin, kung kailangan niya ito sa ganitong panahon, dapat maibigay natin. Otherwise, it, it loses its relevance, it loses its value kung late tayo ano, nagbibigay ng mga financial information. So, dapat yung financial information, it should be available when it is needed. Okay? So, this four enhancing characteristics makes the information or the accounting information more useful to the users no for them to make informed decisions tandaan niyo ang acronym natin dito vcat no v for verifiability c for comparability u for understandability and t for timeliness okay so that ends our short video lecture for our discussion on enhancing characteristics of accounting information until then i'll see you sa mga susunod na Video lectures. Bye-bye.